This Spotlight on Retirement Planning is sponsored by American Retirement Systems, providing competitive solutions for agents and advisors. For more information, please visit AmericanRetirementSystems.com. Almost one-fourth of Americans plan to tap their retirement funds to pay for their children's college educations, according to a recent study by Sally May and Gallup. Of respondents, 24% said they plan to take money from their 401ks, IRAs, or pension plans, despite increasing their tax liability. The report surprised financial advisors, since other options, such as 529 college savings plans, are meant to fund college education tax-free. The survey found that just 24% of parents said they plan to use 529 plans. Financial advisors warn against using money from retirement accounts for college because the strategy leads to higher tax penalties and can also affect the amount of financial aid a student will receive. Money taken from a, re from a retirement fund counts as adjusted gross income and is considered during the evaluation of a student's financial need. A growing number of American workers are not saving for retirement due to the tough economy and other factors, according to the Employee Benefits Research Institute, or EBRI. Their analysis of U.S. Census Bureau data found that just 54.4% of full-time workers between the ages of 21 and 64 participated in a company-sponsored retirement plan in 2009, compared with 60.4% 10 years earlier. When combined with workers who are not offered a retirement plan at work, the number of Americans enrolled in a retirement plan falls to 39.6, down from a high of 44.4% in 2000. Meanwhile, the number of companies sponsoring retirement plans also fell from a high of 69.4% in 1999 to 61.8% last year. The report predicts that participation will diminish even further in 2010 due to high unemployment rates and moves made by employers to help conserve money. The study also found that retirement plan participation is higher among older workers, with 61.2% of workers ages 55 to 64 enrolled in a plan versus just 30.6% of those between 21 and 24. U.S. cities and counties are facing an additional $574 billion in unfunded liabilities from pension plans that could have an impact on the future operational abilities of state and local governments, according to a recent report by the Kellogg School. The latest shortfall is in addition to a previously estimated $3 trillion in unfunded liabilities. Unfunded pensions will create huge waves for workers who rely on such funds for their retirement, forcing such workers to rethink their retirement strategy. Currently, Philadelphia faces the most immediate crisis as the city is unable to pay unfunded liabilities with existing assets past 2015. Cities that can currently pay pensions through 2020 include Boston, Chicago, Cincinnati, Jacksonville, Florida, and St. Paul, Minnesota, the report said. An additional 18 cities, including New York City and Detroit, currently have funds to pay benefits through 2025. Each household in the 50 cities and counties included in the study owes approximately $14,165 to current and former municipal public, public employees, while in some larger cities the total exceeds $30,000 per household. According to Joshua Ra of the Kellogg School of Management at Northwestern University and co-author of the study, quote, the situation is especially dire for taxpayers in these areas. In addition to being exposed to the prospect of severe local government tax increases and spending cuts, they also will be called upon to pay for their share of the $3 trillion unfunded liabilities at the state level." Unquote. For more industry spotlights, visit ProducersWeb.com. <laughs>